Valley prepares to host its first annual Logistics Council. We have the details on that and more on today's Daily Buzz. The Daily Buzz is brought to you by 717 Credit Union. Hello everyone, welcome to The Daily Buzz. I'm Mike Moliterno. Now here's what's in store for the week of October 9th. Today, the St. Elizabeth's Auxiliary celebrated 90 years of service at Immaculate Heart of Mary Parish Center in Austintown. The Auxiliary has about 70 members and raises funds for St. E's two hospitals through book, jewelry, and uniform sales. Trivium Manufacturing in Youngstown is holding a Manufacturing Week event at its plant at Performance Drive. The aluminum packaging manufacturer will host tours and giveaways from 8 a.m. to noon, Tuesday and Thursday. On Wednesday, the Columbiana County Career and Technical Center, in partnership with the Educational Service Center Business Advisory Council, will show students from all over Columbiana County the careers offered in manufacturing. Students will visit eight different manufacturing companies before returning to CCTC to tour the Manufacturing Career Path Labs. Then from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m., Youngstown Works will hold its fall hiring event at Stambaugh Auditorium. Youngstown Works is a consortium of nonprofit agencies from Mahoning County. And on Thursday, the Youngstown Warren Regional Chamber will hold the first Mahoning Valley Logistics Conference at the Youngstown Warren Regional Airport. The event will feature speakers and panels on topics such as global supply chains and current infrastructure projects. So be sure to check back to businessjournaldaily.com all this week for those stories and more. Now here's some of what you might have missed from over the weekend. The decision of General Motors to fold its joint venture battery plants into a national agreement with the United Auto Workers is transformational for the auto industry and its hourly employees, a union official said Friday. Director of UAW Region 2B Dave Green said, quote, It won't only give our members a just transition, but gives the next generation a shot at a good paying job in the auto industry. UAW President Sean Fain announced in a video address to workers Friday afternoon that GM had agreed to include its battery plants in national collective bargaining discussions toward a national contract now underway with the union. And small business owners and manufacturers learned about working with federal agencies to leverage funding and expertise while students experienced what it's like to think like a manufacturer. Both Youngstown State University's Excellence Training Center in Coley Hall and America Make staged events Friday as part of Manufacturing Day. The ETC hosted speakers from the U.S. Navy, NASA, and private industry, and America Makes brought in businesses to help 8th graders learn about manufacturing careers. And that is going to do it for today's Daily Buzz. Be sure to like, subscribe, and leave a comment. If you'd like to dive deeper into any of these stories, links are available in the description. Thank you very much for watching. I'm Mike Moliterno. 717 Credit Union. Savings power to give your business an extra boost. Business savings, certificates, and business money market. 717 Credit Union. Make your money work as hard as you do. Check out our business money market and CD rates at 717cu.com slash rates.